Hello, my name is Dark Wolf Art, and uh, today in this video I'm going to be taking a look back at my uh, PSP collection. As you can see, there's not many PSP games to go through, so we're going to get through this pretty quickly. So the first thing we're going to have a look at before I show you off all my games is this. This is the PSP. Um, came out 2006, I believe. Console when it came out, it's been that uh, it didn't last uh, that long. So uh, let's get into it. By the way, I got Spider-Man 2 for free for purchasing. Yeah, for purchasing the PSP, then you could send off uh, a voucher sort of thing and get that for free. So that's why I have that. That's the only move I do have on the uh, PSP, the UMD video. So we'll take a look at the games. Uh, first off, Tekken Dark Resurrection. So. I'm going to guess everybody knows what Tekken is. This is uh, one of the spin-offs for uh, the PSP. Camera. You're not really focused, are you? There you are. See, the graphics at the time, especially for the PSP, uh, they weren't bad at all. So, it wasn't too much of a bad game. Next up is uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Uh, one of the better Final Fantasy spin-offs. Uh, Final Fantasy VII spin-offs, I would say. Uh, you played a Sack. Uh, if you know the story of Final Fantasy VII, and then you know who Sack is. Uh, this has just had a remake, remastered, and it, it's coming out this month. If it's not already out, I can't remember what the release date is, but this is more like a hack and slasher type, and it had a gambling system as well, where, as you can see here, uh, it would line up and you would get extra action. Uh, combat moves or different stuff or HP added to you. Very good game. I will be buying the remake of this. Next up, Stark, Dark Stalkers Chronicle. Um, I don't think they make these games anymore. Uh, the Dark Stalker series uh, by Capcom. Uh, basically, it's a 2D fighting game. Uh, it was quite famous back in the day if you were into the fighting scene. It was one of the better ones to play. Uh, I remember it handling really well, so you like fighting games? Uh, next up is Mercury. I bought this. I believe this was the day one release with the PSP. So basically, you play you play as a liquid metal, and you got to work your way around mazes. Uh, a bit like Marvel Madness, maybe. It was a very good game. Enjoyed it. SSX on tour. I've talked about this before. It's <coughs> it's SSX. It. On the PSP. Uh, Loco Rolo. Uh, quite a niche little game. Uh, where you played as uh, some balls and you had to tip the level to get them rolling either left or right and solve uh, little puzzles. That was a good little game. I think it came out on uh, PS3. I can't fully remember. I'm sure it came out on one of the consoles. MTX. So it's ATX on the edge. Uh, yeah, so this is just a rally game, uh, arcade rally game. There's been plenty of these over the years. I think they still do them nowadays. Um, I believe they do. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Uh, so, yeah, if you want a little arcade racer on the go, uh, that was um, not too bad. But if you wanted open world, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Yeah, so having uh, a 3D Grand Theft Auto game on the go was one of the best things in the world. And, uh, as you can see, for a handheld console, it didn't look too bad, even today. I know we have uh, the Switch and all that, but it was definitely one to get if you had a PSP. And they also did a Vice City Stories as well. The next up is the Silent Hill Experience, which well, I liked when I said about Spider-Man 2 being my only UMD video. I think this is more of a... Yeah, comic book that you walk through, really. Yeah, a few over 200, uh, few over 200, few over two hours of digital comics based on the popular Silent Hill comic series, presented with haunting music. So yeah, if you wanted to read comics on a go on a small screen, um, I suppose you get that. I just bought that because I enjoyed Silent Hill at the time. Next up, an RPG, uh, definitely one which uh, doesn't get me anymore. Breath of Fire Free. So I believe this is a. Remake 
of the original, which I was, uh, which was on the SNES. It's the only Breath of Fire I've ever played. It's number three, uh, but it was done by Capcom. Uh, it, as far as I know, it's very good uh, RPG series. I think they did a couple more after this. I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, but I played this and I had fun on that one. Next up is a classic, Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast. So yeah, Outrun Arcade Razor. Um, I would hope everybody knows what it is. Uh, very fun game. Next is a tactical, uh, tactical turn base, Lord of the Rings Tactics. So I bought this because it was Lord of the Rings, and Lord of the Rings was big around 2006. Uh, without realizing it was really a tactic game, uh, not too into tactic games. Uh, but I did play this one for a little bit. Yeah, it was good for what it was. I don't think this came out on consoles at all. Uh, too fancy to have been GameCube and PS2. No, I don't think it did. Uh, yeah, if you like tactics, I hear it was a fun game for that. Free running was also big at the time. Uh, watching uh, videos of people jumping off massive buildings. This game, though, it wasn't great at all. The controls were a bit fiddly, uh, to say the least, and the graphics were muddying. I need to do some of the graphics there. Uh, not the best in the world, but uh, I bought it because it said free running, so. And last but not least, fighting game from Final Fantasy, Dissidia. Um, so yeah, this is a very good game. I enjoyed this very much, so. So you play as characters throughout the whole uh, Final Fantasy series, as you can see here. You've got your clouds, um, other guys, <laughs> I can't remember the names of my top ball and all that, and uh, the guy from the first game. Uh, so. <laughs> That's terrible, I can't remember the names. Get them all up. Of course, they're not all in there. But yeah, the, I got bought the collector's edition. Comes with that manual. Um, what's this? Uh, this is. Original sound selections. So this must be. Uh, but I have this, uh, this is one of those. Little CDs that you put into your PC. Um, so have you ever seen a PC with a PC drive and they've got that little notch in the middle where it's the compression? You put one of these into play. Oh, what? I forgot it came with that, I should say. I have opened this before. And some postcards as well. And of course, the art of the Dizadia. They are Warrior, I like that name. And uh, everybody else in there. Famous ones. Oh. There we are. Tidus. Not Tidus, it's Tidus. So, yeah, uh, there was a sequel made, uh, released on the PS4, uh, called Dissidia NT. Uh, if I remember rightly, it just wasn't that good. I do have it actually saying that, but it just wasn't as good as this one, I don't think. Yeah, that's my PSP collection. Uh, not much of it, uh, but still, it's a little bit. I have been Dark Wolf Up, and if you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.